Mathematica is a program that's very, very powerful. It's used in the math and sciences in the, and also in the commercial world. It's very expensive, though, so you'll probably only get to use it here in the labs and a couple math labs on campus. Uh, here's the icon for it, and it's a .nb for notebook. When I open up the file, let me show you a little bit about how Mathematica works. Each line can be executed, and the way you execute a line, this line, by the way, will clear all variables you would hold the shift key and press return or alternately you could use the enter key on the numeric keypad so just hit shift return the first time you do this it will bring up the, the Mathematica kernel into the background now the kernel is the actual brains of Mathematica what we're seeing here on this screen is just the front end so hold shift return on this first line just to bring up the kernel right here we're going to define a function called Lissajou and later on we're going to call this Lissajou with a show function. You don't need to worry about this too much. We're just going to be changing these numbers to see what happens with list as you figures. So I'm going to hold shift return and execute this one and, and it executed pretty quickly. And then I'll execute this command. And what it will do is redraw this. So I'm going to hold shift and return. And there it goes. Well, let's see what it looks like when we do a um, a two to one. Shift return. Ah, that's what it looks like. Well, how about a two to three? Shift return, and there it is. What if we change the phase shift to say 45 degrees instead of 90 degrees? Okay. This function we can come back to any time and change the variables and just do shift return. We've already define the base function with inputs of y and x and phase shift and that's what it's calling each time. Now here's another function. We have to register this one and this one has a different name. This is u2. So shift return and now it's entered into the memory. And notice what happens when I evaluate a 2 to 1. Shift return it spits out these and you can kind of look at this function to see what it's doing a cosine and a cosine with a phase shift oh and the parameters of t go from 0 to 2 pi on and on and on and the last one will be similar these outputs you can change their size right here in the corners and again with this is u3 you would first shift return on the function and then you do the show and then you could alter these numbers and do show again with shift return so that's it for Lissajou uh, Mathematica file. This file, by the way, is how I came up with all the, uh, the pictures that are contained within this Lissajou file on page two. And that movie is also uh, in the folder here, playing from the web browser. Well, I hope this has helped you out and, well, just explore Lissajou figures. See if you can figure out how they work.